How much do we think? 60 quid? 55. Right. Do you want anything? Do you want a drink? Oh yeah, thank you. Right. See that prick that shut the door on me? Oh, did he? The one in the Audi? Yeah, shut the door on me. Inconsiderate asshole. Raceland coilovers. They're cheaper than a lot of alternative coilovers that you can buy. And I think they're in roughly the same price bracket as the blue lines from from what people have said online they are supposed to be like the cheapest you can go they're not a very nice ride they're just first stance really but raceland in the name you'd want it to be good for racing and cornering and still give it a bit of a nicer stance to it so these have been on my car now for just over a week or is it two weeks two weeks two weeks they've had a bit of time to settle in I've got used to them, so I'm now going to tell you what I think of them. But first, we need to go somewhere a bit nicer than this. We need to find some B-Rows, alright, to test what they're really like. say before this video starts properly the race and coilovers are not the only thing which is different for the suspension under here at the same time if you watch the install video I installed I swapped the standard um, what are they called bushes standard bushings for um, what are they called <laughs> Power flex. Um, oh, power flex, yeah. Why are you not just filming the video? I saw the standard bushings for power flex bushings. The ones which are supposed to make your car sit 10 millimeters lower because it somehow sits further into the shock or whatever. So they're supposed to be slightly stiffer, slightly better handling and things like that, which will have a bit of an effect on the handling or the stiffness. I don't really know, I can't, because I did at the same time as the coilovers I can't tell what's the coilovers and what's this but if, if the coilovers are supposed to be stiff and they're supposed to be stiff it's surprisingly smooth for something with double the stiffness don't laugh at that fuck sake I would say if you're getting springs get spacers if you're getting coilovers and you still want spacers don't for don't go for the size spacers that I've gone for these were perfectly fine on springs but with it sitting now on coilovers they rub quite a fair bit come over it all right this is another weird thing okay so this side is raised to the maximum it will go but obviously it's got a 20 millimeter spacer on so it's basically sitting flush with quite a bit of camber but this side there's loads of room i think it's because for some reason can someone confirm this please the whole axle the whole beam seems to shift over to the right more of a gap there than there is the other side because someone just <laughs> i don't know has anyone else got that anyone else had that problem but that's that seems to be the problem with me what i'm having so yeah apart from that pretty good pretty good what, what else can i say these aren't sponsored this is not a sponsored video i've been in a car with different with different coilovers and different handlings so i'm going to tell you my honest opinion of them. Let's get straight to the point. Raceland coilovers, you're expecting them to be good for racing. I think up here there's some twisty turns, which I'll throw it down and see what it handles like. Already, they're a massive improvement over the lower end springs I had, because before these, before these I had um, H&R lower end springs, and they were probably, well, they were like, as it says in there, they were springy, going over the bumps down my road. Whereas these are, I don't know, it's hard to explain. The springs, when you went over the bumps, your car was still springy. Whereas these, they're softer. They're not softer, but they're not rock solid. When people say coilovers, you expect your arse to be bruised for your, the entire ride. But I think with these, they're not like that. 
they, they're like the springs that I had, but they're just a bit firmer. They're better at handling. God, apart from that, okay, if you're running spacers on these, they are gonna rub. I still have 15 mils on the front and 20 millimeter spacers on the rear. What I'm planning to do is take the 15s from the front off, put them on the rear, and then get some five or 10 millimeter spacers for the fronts because the wheels are too far out. So every bump there is, the, uh, the wheel is rubbing on the arch and they're raised to the maximum now. That, that back right one is anyway. Coilovers, anyway, you know that you just you're careful with how you drive. You don't, you know, if there's a pothole, you try to avoid the pothole, unless you're like me and you're going down the motorway and you just drive straight into a pothole and smash your alloy. problem with the spacers. springs it'd be like a boat apart from that scraping it feels really good and also when i'm flooring it it doesn't feel so light as well so if the old springs it was, if i was flooring it the, the front end would just start building up when i drove that polo what's that man have you just killed no i think it was already dead oh i, I think i avoided it though what was i saying right yeah the polo Polo GTI that I had, that drove really nice. The coilovers on that were really nice. And they were, were they AP coilovers, you remember? I think you said AP, yeah. I think they were AP coilovers and they had double the price of these ones. I think maybe the AP ones are a bit stiffer, but comfort wise, they felt exactly the same. So save your money, half the price, go for Raceland coilovers. That's the, that's the Raceland coilovers. I still need to get my tracking done and I need to obviously swap the spacers off like I said. Without sounding as sponsored as possible, telling you my honest opinion, I would say go for it. Definitely worth it. They don't feel like cheap coilovers. Like they've said, lifetime warranty and 30 day guarantee. So if you're not happy with it, then you can just take them back off and send them back. But if anything does break, then you've got warranty on them. If you were expecting this video to be about the new bumper that I got by the way, and installing a splitter, had a slight problem with that. It's smoothed, the new bumper was smoothed. Basically on, on the new bumper, this doesn't dip down. He's given me a grill that fits in there, but now I have the problem with this thing, because obviously that's still lit there, and I really hate the look when people debadge them, but then they've still got the, the gap there. So I'm now in a bit of a sticky situation. So if you've either got, if you've got a bonnet, which has been filled here, or if you've got a genuine R32 bumper, a standard one that you want to swap for my other one, my smooth genuine R32 bumper, slide in the DMs on Instagram with either of the two 
and we'll sort something out because I, I want to get that spitter on so badly. Anyway, thank you for watching guys. Really appreciate all the support. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. If you've got race tank coilovers or if you've got any other coilovers, let me know because always open to suggestions. And yeah, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.